Hey guys, it's Melinda here. So today I have just a little haul. I've got Best and Less, Big W and Priceline. Now Priceline had a huge 50% off sale here recently. So I just ordered online, saved me having to go into the store. Um, so I'm going to show you what came today. So I just got three packets of pads. They were half price and who really wants to pay full price for pads? Like we need them. Sanitary items, so... Oh, sorry, I've got four packets, so that lasts me a while. Um, I also got some dead old disinfectant. Um, this is just the liquid because I use it on the floors. I use it for cuts. Um, I've never bathed in it or used it in the laundry, um, but it's always handy to have. And all this stuff was half price. So also I just got the antiseptic cream, which is good to put on like little cuts and stuff and like having kids and that it comes in handy. Some Listerine because me and Matt use this um, and it's $10 in Coles where we usually get it but it was half price so I think it ended up being like $6 from Priceline which is better than paying $10. We got some band-aids, some frozen ones for Mia obviously and then just the usual um, fabric band-aids. I got a few Aveeno baby things as well for Marley. Um, so we got to the wash and shampoo, um, the creaming wa creamy wash, which is good for like, um, Mia will be able to use this one actually. It might be good for her because she actually has eczema. So, and then I just got the daily lotion. I'm also got this one for Mia. Um, I also got a, oh, it's in some weird packaging, a mascara. It is the... Curler 24 hour mascara by Rimmel. Um, a foundation that I used to use all the time from Australis. So I decided to try it again because I really haven't found a foundation like this. It's the Australis Stay Put Long Wear Foundation and it says it lasts up for 16 hours. It doesn't. It doesn't even last for 12 hours, but it's good stuff. Um, I got some cream cleanser for myself because I didn't get any of the beauty bags this year from Priceline, so I'm running out of like skincare and stuff. Then I got the Astralis highlighter powder, or oh, sorry, High Life highlighter powder. Just some makeup pads, <clears throat> um, some makeup remover by Neutrogena. I've never actually tried this, so I'm interested to try it. Because the one that I'm using at the moment is almost gone. Um, I just got this Neutrogena Facial Moisturizer. Some Body Mist. Um, sun Cream we are heading into summer. It is spring. It's actually my birthday. Um, so yeah, this will come in handy for myself and Mia. And then I just got Mia some Detangling Spray. Um... It probably doesn't work, you pro like, yeah, but it was half price, so why not give it a go? Um, so next, I'm just going to show you what we've got at Best and Less. We are having... We are having our very first family photo session, so we have been looking for outfits for the girls, and I obviously there is such a big size difference between the two girls that I'm not going to be able to get clothes that are the same um to dress them alike because they either make zero to size sorry four zero or five zero to size zero and then one to seven and then seven to sixteen so yeah i kind of just had to use the color and get the same color so first i have these headbands so this is the color that we decided to go with for the girls me and matt are going to wear black and the girls are going to wear this really cute little peach color so this is the dress that we got for Mia. Now I'm hoping this will fit her. I got her in a size 8. Um, she wasn't with me. So if it doesn't fit or it's a little too big, I am going to go and get the size 7 because we need it to fit her for next month. So this was $30. This is what it looks like. And it, it's just like kind of hanky at the bottom. Really, really super pretty. I am in love with that dress. And then we got... Marley, this little one, this was uh, 20 so, and this one has pink on it. 
So they're very, very similar in color. They're almost identical. So really happy with that. I wanted to get a 2-0 for Marley um, so she could wear it a little bit longer, but um, they didn't have it. They just had 0-3 to three months or 9-12 to 12 months, and that one would have been massive. So yeah, that's the outfits for the girls. So I think together they were like 50-something. Then from Big W, we got these little shoes. They're not shoes, they're socks, but they kind of look like um, little booties for Marley to wear with for the photo shoot. So these will fit really nice. They're up to six months, so they'll fit her really cute. Um, then we found two little Dumbo outfits. And if you guys know, Marley's nursery is Dumbo. What's well, as Dumbo as we can get it. Um, but we also have, like, her bedding has Bambi and Lion King and that sort of thing on it. So when I saw this and it had Bambi on it, I had to grab it. This was $16 and we got it to fit her. She's in size 3 zero now. So we got it in 2 zero. But that is super cute. And that was 16 And then we also got this in size 2 zero. These are just, I'm guessing, pyjamas. We've got a couple of Dumbo pyjamas now. But they don't really make them really girly. So they're gender neutral. And this was 20 So that is just adorable. And then I went into BW, tried on a dress that had exactly the same colours as the girls, but it was see-through, which meant I had to wear... Sorry, it wasn't see-through. It was too short for me to wear it as a dress, so I had to wear leggings or stockings or something underneath it. And I couldn't wear stockings because obviously it being too short, so I would have to wear leggings, like black leggings, and it was see-through. So it looked really funny. So me and Matt decided to just go with all black outfits for ourselves. Um, so... I picked up this dress, which I'm going to wear leggings... Um, leggings with it because I have to being tall I guess that's just an issue um, so this is what it looks like it is really really pretty not long at all but I mean I guess it would be normal for people that aren't tall um, but yeah that is what that looks like it is really pretty and I will definitely be posting photos when we do get the family photo is done so you guys will be able to see. Hopefully the outfits turn out really good. I've just got some really nice black shoes to wear with mine and I'm going to have to get Mia some nice sandals. Um, not sure what Matt's wearing yet. He has got like some really nice shirts and stuff and some nice pairs of jeans and that. So yeah, I'll probably just have like a pop of colour on my nails or something. But that is this little haul. I hope you guys enjoyed and I really miss doing hauls and stuff but... Having a new baby, it's just kind of put stuff away and I completely forget to haul it. I did a um, grocery haul last night, so I'm getting back on track and yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope that I will be filming many, many more hauls in the future. Bye.